Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in this morning. So behind me is a new living quarters. It's pretty rare that we're getting in new trailers that are available. Uh, this three horse Cimarron sitting behind me is available today. So we don't expect it to stick around long. So if you're interested, definitely give us a call. Let's talk a little bit about this. This is a 2022 Cimarron North Star three horse living quarters. It is a 10-8. Pro line by Outlaw Conversions. So we'll talk a little bit about that as we walk through this trailer. Every one of these is a little bit different and unique in the way we option them. There's some standard features and then there's some add-ons. Now, it is a 22. You'll start to see some 23s start coming in uh, maybe later in the year. Uh, typically what happens is the 23 models come off the line in May at Cimarron, but then there's a, a big kind of delay there in order to get a finished living quarters from Outlaw uh, as far as a finished product. So there's always a little bit of a lag when you start looking at model years and living quarters because of that. You know, you start to see the using trailers hitting the, the lots actually in May. So we'll start to see those later in the fall, some 23 models coming in. But again, this is a cool setup, uh, a nice little trailer. I mean, we're talking 25 foot on the floor. It is eight foot wide, it's seven, seven tall. Again, it's a 10, eight short wall. Now, there's some things that we do when we order these trailers. One of the very first things is, is we upgrade our bottles. So as you can see, the two bottles to the right, instead of the 20 pound standard, we like to upgrade you to the 30 pound bottles. We just understand that you're gonna end up having to change propane pretty frequently. Uh, so why not go ahead and put the bigger bottles on there? You've got your battery box located up above that. There's two batteries in there because this one is a living quarters. And then you've got your electric over hydraulic single leg jack with a manual override. So in emergency situations, you can go ahead and get that on and off the truck. Now this is a ProLine XP by Outlaw Conversions. So in the ProLine model, what you're getting is you're getting their production models. And what you have is a, a set number of layouts and different sizes, and then you're somewhat limited on your options. Now it's still outlaw conversions, it's still hardwood cabinetry. I mean, you're still getting that quality. Again, it's just more of a production model as far as, you know, again, those different sizes. So they've got some different layouts in this 10.8. Uh, we'll walk you through this one. What you'll get is you'll get a one year warranty on the, out, the Pro Line by Outlaw part of it, eight year structure and three year hardware from Cimarron. So you've got some really good warranty behind the trailer itself. But as you come in here, we really like this lad. I mean, it's very popular. What you have is you have your sofa sleeper, on this driver's side door here. So this will fold down into a bed. Our water is actually stored underneath there. You've got some cabinets up above for storage. Your large refrigerator located behind it. You've got the big refrigerator. So what you get is you get a separate freezer and refrigerator. So you're not getting the small dorm fridge as we like to call it. When you're getting anything under a 10 foot you know, when you get into those eight footers, you're gonna have the little ones. And what happens is with those little ones, they get stored right underneath here, underneath our cooktop. Well, then you lose all that storage. You lose that drawer space. And then you really don't get much of an actual freezer. So you have that in this option here with the drawers. You've got the two burner recessed cooktop with the glass lid on it. Directly above that is a hood vent with a microwave. As you can see, as we get up into the gooseneck area, flat screen TV, that's on an arm. So what we can do is we can actually break that loose and then turn it and point it towards the sofa. Or if you're up in the bed area, actually pivot it and turn it up towards the living or the sleeping area up here. You get this nice, big, thick memory foam mattress. There's additional storage up there at the front. And then some storage over to the left of the bed as well. Now in this setup here, uh, because of without law, they duct all the, the actual air conditioning, which is fantastic because look, we're not trying to get all of our air conditioning source from right here in the middle from the actual unit. Uh, we can actually manipulate 
the airflow. I can shut down the bathroom if I want and force more air in here or vice versa. That way it just kind of keeps this cabin temperature more consistent because we get that airflow throughout this trailer. You get some additional storage right here by the door. Couple clothes rods in there. The water pump's actually located in the bottom there. So everything's really easy to access. They do a really good job on making everything to where you can get to it very easily. And then when you get into this bathroom, I'll kind of just step in here so it gives us a little bit more room to see. But this is actually a very well set up and good sized bathroom from the standpoint of, look, I can stand in front of the bathroom vanity, in front of that sink, get ready. We have the radius shower, give you a little bit more room, and then also a skylight up top there. So it gives you a little bit more headroom if you're a little bit taller, uh, but also gives you some natural lighting in that area as well. You do have a, a power vent right up in the middle of this. So again, getting a lot of lighting in this area as far as that's concerned. And then you've got some additional storage, another double close rod behind that. And then obviously your pass-through door, which these pass-through doors are awesome. I'll show you when we get to the outside of this trailer. You can literally hop in through the escape door, kick off some dirty boots, and step right into the bathroom, take a shower. So it kind of works as somewhat of a mud room for you. And then you have the pocket door. So again, we're not having a door, we're having to swing and work around. So really nice from that standpoint, as far as that's concerned. And then before we head out, you'll notice we, we do the two hat racks right above. That's kind of wasted space. So we like to go ahead and put that option in there. So again, you can just slide your cowboy hats up there. They're up out of the way. And then you have a sliding screen door as well. Now we actually like to option these trailers with this heavy duty door from Cimarron rather than doing a prefab door with a screen door built onto it. Just because, you know, this is a lot heavier duty as far as that's concerned. Um, this door is going to shut really, really well. You feel the weight of the door actually in there because there's a lot of framework. And I want you to also notice talking about framework is these are frameless windows. That is standard on the 22 models. So they did make that change. Um, it is a sleeker finished look to the trailer in my opinion. And up above there, you've got an awning. Now, what's cool about that is that's an electric awning. So it's just a push button. Out it comes. There's actually an LED strip light underneath there. That's now standard from Outlaw as well. That used to be an upgrade on these trailers, but they've just gone ahead and made it standard. You've got your exterior speakers, you've got that awning. It's really good from the standpoint of being able to sit out here and do some entertaining. These are also RVI certified from Outlaw Conversions. So what that means is these meet all the requirements for you to take this to any public, any private campgrounds. You meet the criteria for what they need. And, and again, it just kind of sets you apart from everyone else out there in the industry. Uh, they're the longest standing and at this moment, they're the only RVI certified living quarters conversion company out there on the market. Now, let's take a look. We'll take a step back up on top of the roof there. You're going to see a six foot sheeted hay rack. Directly behind that, you're going to notice this box that's going to store our Onan 4000 gas generator. And then there's a platform. So we'll show you that when we get to the other side of it. But what's great about that generator is you can get anywhere as long as you have that tank filled up and take some extra fuel cans if you want. You can fire this thing up anywhere out in the middle of nowhere and be able to run that air conditioner and do everything you want in that living quarter as far as that's concerned. You've got your exterior awning lights as well. So we have light coverage out here. Three bus windows. That's standard on this setup. And then you're going to have rubber torsion axles, aluminum wheels. Those are standard now. And now these are 14 ply tires. So you have an upgraded tire, which honestly, it's, it's well worth the money to just go ahead and upgrade tires. Whenever I'm looking at building a trailer for a customer, that's one of the first things I look at is say, hey, you know, for a little bit more money, we can upgrade your tires. These are nitrogen filled and balanced as well. So they're really not going to fluctuate PSI levels as you would see with 
air-filled tires. Now there is a misconception out there that if you do have a slow leak, low tire, you can't put air to them. That's not the case. You can put air to these. Um, the nitrogen filled just allows, again, that PSI level from really fluctuating drastically. Think about temperature changes. I mean, it's a cool morning here in Colorado. Uh, you know, I mean, it was 60 some degrees coming in, so it was probably a little bit cooler overnight. And then there'll be days where we get up to 100, 100 plus. And then think about the altitude. So they actually use nitrogen filled tires on airplanes. So think about those altitude changes and those temperature changes. So here we'll get a good look at the back of that generator box and then that platform up there as well. We really like doing the platforms just because then you're just not having to stand on the roof. Um, you know, not to say that this roof can't handle it. It can, it's really durable. It's really, really strong as far as that's concerned, these insulated roofs that are on these Cimarron's. But, you know, a little bit of rain, a little bit of moisture, you can get up there, it can get a little slick. Let's give you a little bit more, uh, you know, just the ability to keep you a little bit safer by having that platform up there. Now, as you look at the back, you've got dual 50-50 doors. You get 50-50 doors because this is an eight wide trailer. On the narrower trailers, that's where you start seeing them incorporate a 60-40 setup. You have a folding rear tack on the left-hand door. You're going to get a four-tier blanket pole rack. It's on a gas shock, so it swings in and out. Brush tray on the door for smaller miscellaneous items. And then you're actually going to have a removable post. And why that's important is if we wanted to use this for other items, you know, maybe you want to take this to hunting camp, but you're not going to take any horses. You're going to take some four wheelers, something like that. We can take this out, collapse this down and go right in. Maybe your horse is a fan of a rear ramp. We can remove that rubber bumper and add a rear ramp over the back door. So there's items we can do to these trailers after the fact all the time. You've got your butt bar. And then as we get into this stall area, you're gonna have the two dividers, padded, solid dividers. Your first divider is a stud divider, which we really like incorporating on these trailers as well, especially at the first stall. Because you have that escape door, again, you can use this as a mudroom, some additional storage. We don't have to worry about items getting underneath horses in transit because of that stud divider itself there. Your rubber kick mat, you have these aluminum, these are cast aluminum pieces that are powder coated with the UHMW paddle latch, so it's real heavy duty, but we're not getting metal to metal contact, creating a lot more noise. The other thing, when you walk into a Cimarron, I want you to pay attention, put your hands on things. You'll notice everything has a radius. There's no sharp edges, no 90 degree angles. Horse safety is number one. So everything is very smooth. They taper the fenders, they taper them up, they taper the ends. So again, just making sure it's nice and safe for the horses. Speaking of horses and safety, when we're standing on a Cimarron floor, you're standing on the best floor on the market. This is a 12 inch extruded deck piece that locks in high and low, tongue and groove. But more importantly, they're four inch centers. So picture hoof size of a horse standing on this floor. They're always standing on support. Whether I turn my foot sideways, lengthwise, whatever, I'm standing on that support beam. And then on top of that, again, we mentioned that roof a little bit, but every single Cimarron has that insulated roof. That is standard on every single trailer. Again, it's really stout, it's really strong. It takes about 150 pounds per square foot. Uh, but more importantly, in my opinion, is it keeps this stall area so much cooler, about 20% compared to an aluminum roof. So just horse comfort level is amazing. When you come onto the lot in these really hot summer months on this asphalt, that's what we like to do is we like to take a customer from a competitor with an aluminum roof and walk them into a horse trailer that's been all sealed up and then walk them over to Cimarron. You will tell the difference. I mean, it is drastic. So a really good setup there. As we get over here, I'm gonna shut this left-hand door because I want you to, I wanna show you the ladder to get up there to the hay rack and also that deck. So these are, an easy angle ladder. 
which we're a big fan of, because rather than the bolt-ons where you have to literally go straight up the side of it, even try to carry one item in your hand and try to go up to the side on a bolt-on, and it's almost impossible. With this, you can literally carry uh, feed bags with you, buckets, whatever you need to, and you can go up this. It's a lot simpler to do. And what's really cool is they've added one more safety measure. So in the past, these literally would just set into these sockets and that was it. But as you can see, they have this pin on the side now that automatically locks in when you push it in there. So now this is not going anywhere. One thing I'd always tell customers is, I would always say, you need to walk by and push on this, step on it, just to make sure it's locked. Because honestly, it's behind the trailer. You're not gonna know if there's an issue if this thing breaks loose. Now, you, we do have customers that wanna add those onto other manufacturers or onto Cimarron's where they had bolt-ons, and that can be done as well. So here's a good look at driver's side. We've got the drop windows down, escape door open, but just notice the size of these windows. One, we get a massive opening, more airflow for the horses. We have the jail bars. You can fold these down if you wanna, again, maybe throw some feed to them. Nice solid seal. But all this between the edge and to the window, that's all framework. And if you wanna see something real impressive, Look at the TIG welds here on these trailers. And then you also get welded hinges with greaser, so a lot easier to maintain as well. A lot of people have weld on hinges, but you don't have the ability to actually put grease to them. They'll, they'll seize up, they'll get really loud, make a lot of noise, and then you have to heat them up. Sometimes you have to cut them off and replace them. And then you've got mangers on this one here. So you've got some additional storage underneath. You can never have enough storage on these trailers. And in this back manger, you will notice kind of an L-shaped box right here. That's actually our fuel tank for that onboard generator. So again, it's an Onan 4000 gas generator. So you can fuel your pickup up, pull up to the pump, and go ahead and put gas, and then you're set and ready to go. And then again, the escape door. Like I mentioned, if you're not hauling three head of horses, you can use that for some additional storage, use it as a mudroom. It's just handy to be able to hop in and out of this trailer and utilize this escape door. And the other thing too is some manufacturers, you know, not so much on the high-end trailers, but some manufacturers will have this escape door and all they'll have is a bus window, and that's all they have. But on these Cimarron's, you'll actually get the drop with the jail bars just like you would on the back ones. Now it's not as big just because we have the door framework. We have to have framework all around it. So that's why you see that. City water fill, 30 amp breaker, or a, a 30 amp power cord. We'll plug right in there. And then we have our holding tanks. Outlaw does a great job on teaming up with Cimarron to really get those tanks up underneath the trailers. I know that some customers say, boy, I wish they would have a, a T in there, so I literally only have to hook my hose up to one item. Well, that's true, and I understand that, but then that also means we're gonna have hardware sticking down in order to make that T and only have one exit for your gray tank and your black tank. So again, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get items up underneath there, you know, not being able, not to say you can't do damage to a tank or those valves on this one, but it's highly unlikely now compared to a lot of competitors that have a lot of that stuff hanging down the trailer itself. The white sheeting is standard on these Cimarron's. You can do different colors. There is an upcharge on those. Charcoal metallic's been real popular. Black, champagne, silver metallic. You can do fully polished. You can do about anything you want. So again, this trailer is available. It is a 2022 Cimarron North Star three horse living quarters, 10.8 Proline XP by Outlaw Conversion. Stock number is 5N211692. So give us a call. Anybody on our sales team can help you out. We do take trade ins. If you're trading up, trading down, maybe you have a big LQ, you just need to get into a little bit smaller one, we can do that as well. So give us a shout. Anyone on the sales team can help you. That number is 303. 
3400. Thanks for tuning in and have a good day.